back to regular guys outdoors. I'm Chris. And Jeff. This morning I picked Jeff up from the airport. He flew in from Wisconsin. Um, Cause he's gonna come out here and film me while I go elk hunting. I've got two cow elk tags to fill and I'd love to fill one. Obviously I'd love to fill two. So uh, I hope to use them for uh, the camera work so I don't have to worry about that. And I hope to really use them for his legs if we get one down in a valley or something and have him be my personal Sherpa. That would be awesome. But never gotten an elk before so that'll be kind of nice. Eric calls them Sasquatch because it seems like when we're in the woods we never see them. So tonight we're going to set up camp, maybe poke around a little bit, we'll see. But uh, see the tag opens tomorrow, so we're going to get after it. All right. So we have checked in and we have picked a campground, campsite we're going to camp in. We are currently unloading preparation for Chris's big elk hunt tomorrow morning. like that. This is where we're going to be living until Chris shoots himself something. Plenty of room. No man love Thursday here. All right, you ready? Opening morning of your hunt? All right. down the road when we go out um, I'll show you where it's at yeah because you're not gonna carry that lead sled out here in the field yeah so I try to zero like that and uh, so when, it, when, it's, when it's shooting real good and it's shooting nice and tight you know when you're shooting like that you're like man I wonder what this would do out of the sled yeah so we do, we get it zeroed in and then we'll take and uh, shoot it freehand, unassisted with the bench or anything like that. There's a couple bulls right there. We saw these bulls pretty early. We keep moving around, glassing.
Before long, we round the corner, and there they are. Ricky's on the cow call, and Jeff's on the camera. I'm moving down to try to find a spot to shoot from. Magnificent animals. Look at that bull. I'm pretty sure Jeff's on the one I take a shot at right here. I look concerned coming up the hill because I got absolutely no reaction from the cow I shot at. I didn't get the reaction I expected. It seemed very indifferent yeah. to what I did. Are we doing any hiking? What's that? Are we doing any hiking? If there's not a road up there, <laughs> we are. Did you get one? I think so. I, I, it, did, it didn't do anything. Yeah, because in the binos I couldn't see anything flinch or... It was, and I wasn't sure which one you were... From that log, you see that dead tree? That's mm -hmm. like To the right of that, when you're at the log, there's like a gap in the trees. And it was in that gap. Um, but below, below the gap, but that's the like the yeah. line of sight. And I shot and it just looked like it turned its head and left. It took me a while to shoot because I, I couldn't... There were a couple gorgeous bulls, I'll tell you that much. So up the hill we go. Holy shit. I didn't have to hike like this with a bear hunt. We get up there and there's no blood, no sign, no anything. I'm pretty discouraged because she didn't react. Now we got no sign. And Jeff, about as dryly as he can, says, I found what we're looking for. And I'm thinking, man, I hope this isn't a joke because I'm not really in the mood for a joke right now. And sure enough, she went just over the crest of the hill. Jeff, you found it, baby. He's piled up. Well, 30 yards. Maybe. The size. Like I said, I didn't ask this one when he took him, I took him bear hunting. I didn't ask this of him. <laughs> didn't have to climb any hills. <clears throat> All right. Get All your... right, I'll see you back at the truck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Good. No. <laughs> Good luck.
word. All right, photo op. Don't, for, don't think for a second that he isn't going to sandbag this, says the guy walking behind. The unglamorous side of hunting. We got it. <laughs> I think that's my. Right there. We'll be, we'll be good. That must be my cue, of course. I got stuck carrying all the gear out, so it's almost almost even. No, not quite. Viewer discretion is advised on this next video. There you go, Chris. That is a lot harder than on a deer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of pile. That is a lot of pile. I'm not sure, but I think he's still grinning. <laughs> All right, off to the gamble now. That afternoon, we're back at it. That's not even close to that group. The elk we did see that afternoon were in a no hunting area. Bunch of turkey over here too. Fifty feet off the road, right? <laughs> and then it's in the river bottom. <laughs> oh, that's that's no man's land, right? Yeah. Yep. I won't film. <laughs> All right, here we are. About to crack the ceremonial bottle of Pendleton of Chris with a little Pepsi Max. We're gonna pair it deliciously with a boiled hot dog. You only want quality meat. I'm gonna drink it from <laughs> coffee thermoses because we are rednecks. So, congratulations on your elk, buddy. Next morning we're out hunting, but we didn't see anything. Ricky couldn't go with us that afternoon, so he pointed us at a spot to glass from. And so Jeff and I went out that afternoon, a little goofing around on the way in. One is bedded down and two are just standing around. Okay. I don't know how many more are over there. And I don't know what kind of a shot I can get and I don't know the range yet. Okay. I'm gonna go back and get my backpack and then creep up. Don't go that way. Okay. They're just left of that pine tree on the bridge. Okay. I'll go back and get my backpack later.
stop. Look right under that. to our right. It's coming up to the neck. She's moving down. Oh shit, I see her now. I have a shit right there. And that is when the SD card filled up. And we'd already left the pack back there. Alright. Elk number two, I've had a heck of a time. I shot her. I went to go get her. I crossed over to the canyon, uh, she was about 240 yards, and I saw her on the, her feet. So I grabbed my gun, and then I found her, and I got her again, and she tumbled down this steep canyon. And I've had a heck of a time finding exactly where that spot was, even though it was only, uh, I took my eye off the spot. And, uh, but I finally found it, and let me show you the blood, I'm going to flip this around. She's actually taking out these old fence posts. They were on this barbed wire. She's actually taking them out on the way down, but I'm on the track now. I'm on her skid, and uh, you can see that right there. She went right down through there. All right, so we have blood and hair, blood and hair, and I'm having a hard time coming down without about falling. Ugh. And look at all that blood and hair all down this one. So we're on the right track. We'll get back with you when I find her and when I don't try not to fall. I thought this was a rock down here. It's freaking huge. Oh my gosh, I thought this was a rock down here. I didn't even pay it any attention. That is a big animal. I can't believe this. She did not make it to the bottom. I'm in trouble. Holy cow. I cannot believe how big she is. Oh my word. Oh my word. I'm not sure what I was going to say here, but something started moving on the other side of the trees on the side of the hill. It's a... Uh... Hello? Oh, God. Hello? Oh, I got my little guy right here. It's starting to snow. Crap. What's over there? Come on, batteries don't fail me now. Fortunately, whatever it was, it went away. Eventually, Jeff, Jeff, and Ricky showed up with the side-by-side. -side. Jeff gutted her real quick, and we got her loaded up as the snow started really coming down. Chris got into the Boston Creams. So, there we got some tasters choice. This is Chris's rack. And over here is my rack. And we woke up this morning to a real nice surprise there. Oh yeah. Got a little cold last night. There's Chris and getting after it, but I'm sure Chris isn't complaining. Beans that might be freezing outside. But he shot. A monster elk, which we unfortunately ran out of memory card for. So, you'll get your first view of that hanging on a gambrel in the garage here in a few minutes. And it is friggin' cold, man. What the hell were we thinking sleeping in the tent? Well, I'm gonna get dressed then. Nope. Is that an invite? I said, don't come in here. All right, here's Chris standing next to his gutted, shoulderless uh, elk cow from last night. What was it? What was it, Ricky? He said when he when he shot that when when we came up and 
covered it. It's the biggest animal I think I've ever seen. It's a horse. <laughs> there it is. Still grinning. Alright, quarter it up and take it to the butcher. Okay, we came back to our camp. And what do we got bedded? Look who's sitting right there. Now let's give you an idea where he is in reference to our camp. Just, uh, I think he's just hanging out for some Venny Pop to duck in it. Probably gonna have some breakfast with us. He's gonna chill. Now that was my first successful elk cut, and I want to thank Ricky and Jeff down at the ranch. They gave me so much help and support. It was awesome. It was a great time. I want to thank Jeff for flying out and filming for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. Give us a subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.